Hello everyone, welcome back to Grand Theft Auto San Andreas Part 2, and we're about to bre we're breaking the bank at Calligraphy Casino. At, at the casino. Calligraphy. Ugh. I'm trying to say that multiple times here is a little tongue tied. Calig uh, Caligula Casino. Uh, Caligula. Pleh. Anyway, get to the casino, and we're basically gonna be dressed up as a as well as an employee. And a lot, and a few steps here. And of course, we have full health, full armor. This is gonna be fun. <sighs> Ow! And I immediately smack into a palm tree. Oh well, we're nearby. No way, make sure you don't show any guns. And I'm up before editing help. And of course, I'm time for some more copyright music. Hopefully, here I can start talking very loudly. Okay, now we have a time limit. Make sure we get inside and get the team inside. Goodness is here. This is it. Play it cool, Carl. Play it cool. Hey, I'm cool. Are you sure? You sound kind of edgy to me. I'm cool, okay? Alright, and luckily we have the key card and we have a uniform here. Basically, we're feeling for someone he's sick here. And of course, they got security cameras nearby. Ain't seen you around here before. You new? Yeah, I'm uh, standing in for Jerry. He's ill. Who's Jerry? Shut up. What? <coughs> I think I got Jerry's call. Smooth move. Anyway, press Y and press Y here to enter. And now we're inside the casino. I'm in the generator room. Okay, the ventilation grills are on the back wall. Throw the gas down one of these. You got it. Alright. After that, that's gonna take out the guards. <coughs> we won't that's the vault. Until we get down there. Yeah, well, don't worry about it. Right now we've got a schedule to stick to. Head to the security door and use Millie's swipe card. Alright, then we have the secu alright. Alright, we got we got a couple okay. of minutes here. All right, three, two. <laughs> wow! <laughs> I didn't think that was going to work. And some night vision goggles. All right, then, time to go, time to go loud. Head down to the service bay. And well, we don't. Hey, we've got the power down, which means the gate's unlocked. But now you're going to have to race it yourself. Oh, that's okay. There's a forklift nearby. Anyway, now we're inside here. Last time we drove a forklift was for wider. Now, we're, all right, then let's drive by. And after that, press up on the right on the right stick, and we're in. Well done, Carl. Now it's time for us to do our part. Try to stay close. Okay, team. I've gone over the layout to this place, so I know it back to front. Everybody, follow me. Uh oh. Bam! The Davius bastards have changed the layout. Don't worry, I'll take the lead, boss. Good idea. Everybody, follow him. <laughs> yeah, uh, you don't want to let the blind guy go. Anyway, go, anyway, make sure you get inside, make sure no one dies, and start leading, and of course, start killing anyone, all the mob guys in front of you. Yeah, basically, Woozy himself is very good, but unfortunately for him here, he's blind. Alright then. Well, at least Woozy guy came prepared. Cool Alright then, we're almost there. Not far now, keep alert. Hey, I was just about to say that. Sorry, boss. Not far now, everybody. Stay alert. Oh yeah, stay alert. Oh, well, the janitor is part of this now. Well, he does live there. Let's see. And there we are. Okay, we'll set the charges while you watch the door. Okay, boss. Hey, I'm on it. Hurry it up, gentlemen. They know something's wrong. Someone else is in the system. Hey, what's the problem? Somebody's trying to bring the emergency generators back up. Okay, I'll head back up to the generator room and shut them down for good. Alright, then go to the generator and get some sash and blow them. 
I wonder who is it. All right. That dude. Yeah, of course we're nearby. All right. One more for good measure. Collect some ammo. Fire in the hole. All right, then now, now they got some charges on the on the safe here. Yeah, the guard's location. Everybody take cover. Oh shit. Where do I go? Where do I go? Fire in the hole. Okay, people, load up the cab. Shut. <laughs> money, money, money. Berkeley? Alright then. Good. Alright, kill them all before they enter the casino. Okay, then we about to have you Oh yeah. Uh, somebody tell me we should have killed Berkeley here years months ago. Oh well. And you're wondering how the hell did Berkeley know? Well, Zero can't tell him about that. Anyway, different anyway. Kill the last mob guy. After that, escort him back to the truck. All right. We got the money. Okay, team. Just how we practice. Two by two. Ow. Fuck. Scratch that. Everybody follow Carl. <laughs> uh, that's a smart move. The fuck out my way. All right, then. Well, back where we came. Back to the truck here. And if one of our Zebo is, he's actually in the back of the armored truck here. Somehow they might fit, fit four bikes in there. Anyway, same thing beforehand. Stay away from me. All right, then we're almost done. All right, then smooth sailing from here on out. Huh? He works pretty quickly. I've unloaded the police bike. Everybody in. You two, change into your police uniform. Alright then, there they go. There's the decoy. And now we have to get ourselves out of here. Uh oh. After that here, we're gonna jump, we're basically gonna jump out of the casino into a waiting vehicle. <sighs> and here we, and of course here we are on the rooftop here, we'll be dealing with, and of course the cops are now coming. Calicrius Palace here. Nice name for a casino, though. Named after a woman emperor known for being insane. And here comes the fight. And here comes the fight. And here comes the cops. And I believe that the cops are going to soon be repairing how and they'll be dropping cops nearby. Nope. Okay. Come on. All right. Nope. Which is really how most time here, you know, the SWAT team are often time armed with basically mini Uzis here. Alright then, switch out. And basically we don't have to land on the rooftop itself to get to the police helicopter here. Alright then, luckily I have a sniper rifle here. I don't know why, I'm not going to make that jump. Okay, that's two. Alright then, no, all dead. Well, watch out below. Okay, let's keep on running. Uh, yeah, on first off here, I'm too low, so luckily, either fly or drive to Vernet Meadows, that's your main target now. Next goal, get back to the airfield, and if that mission complete, you don't pull off a successful heist. Ooh. Yeah, wait. And we have to get, we, basically now we have to get away from the police helicopter that is chasing us. Luckily, we have speed on our on our side. Uh, 
Uh, well, folks, we just broke the casino, and I believe after this mission, we got a phone call from Sal, and he's pissed. And uh, you guys remember back in Grand Theft Auto 3 how Sal is very paranoid? Both in Grand Theft Auto 3 and Liberty City Stories, how he's very distrustful of his own guys? This is the reason why. We're the reason why he's so that he doesn't trust anybody. Any, any, this is the reason why he doesn't trust anybody, and this is the reason why he tried to kill Cloud back in Grand Theft Auto 3. And I call after the after this missing, Sal gives a phone call. He knows it was us, and he's pissed off. He's mad, basically saying that your mother's dead. Your anyone, your family's dead. And Carl is basically just giving him and just mocking him. Well, I got a whole bunch of expensive stuff to buy. Alright, and well, we're almost there. Well, let's go, let's go to the airfield and find out how the hell Berkeley knew about the heist. Oh. Zero, will you hide? I didn't mean to tell Berkeley. It just kind of came out, is all. Do you watch it, you idiot? Hey, CJ, calm down. You better take me home, CJ. Uh, well, folks, at the end of the mission, and we got one hell of a payout. The game only loads. Oh, that's probably the highest payout in Grand Theft Auto missions here. Anyway, at the end of the mission, and also a home in the hills. Alright then, well, the mission is very simple. Mad Dog is out of rehab, and let's go back to Los Santos. Time to go back to Los Santos, and basically wait for Sweet. But on first off here, you remember his mask in that well? He sold it to a drug dealer named Big Papa, so we're going to do a better parachute action against the guy, and we take the house from his gang, and from the drug dealer. Well, let's hope CJ got his jump wings. Hey, Kendall, what's up? Nothing. Just thought I'd wish you luck. We're gonna drive back to uh, San Fierro first. Just wanna check things out there before we hook up with you guys in Los Santos. All right, cool. You be careful. I'll be fine. I got Caesar and Mad Dog to keep me safe. You be careful. Oh, I will. I'll see you in Los Santos. Me and you gonna go in to clear the place out. Good idea. The element of surprise. So the rest of the crew can move in in peace. So what happened was that Mad Dog basically he sold his help because he was desperate and he was not doing so well. Anyway, uh, over the Vinewood Hills. Five seconds. You ever jumped before? Nah. You? Nah. When we land, we're gonna feel invincible. Green. Green light. Alright then, time to jump to the wild blue yonder. After that, pull your suit, and your main goal is to land on the rooftop itself. You can land anywhere, but landing on the rooftop definitely gives you a better idea. After that, we have to defend the landing zone for order for the second wave of paratroopers. To land on the rooftop, and we have to deal with the Vagos here. Anyway, we're almost there. Last time, and basically we're we'll be taking back Mad Dog's house. Last time we were here, we were stealing his wine book here, and basically eff and fuck, and basically screwing his life. And now here we are trying to rebuild it here. And so here we are back in Los Santos. Last time we were here, we were basically chased out, and Street was in prison. 
Well, we're basically back in full force, and Tampanese is nowhere to be seen. Well, he's currently being under federal investigation right now. Alright. Anyway, the stand here, defend, the, and of course defend the parachute landing here. And of course the blue icon means backup is coming. Luckily though, you have a good position here, you don't have to move down here, and luckily they have a habit of just showing up one at a time. And I don't know. Okay, the triad has. Okay, they're moving. And they're nearby. And I believe after the end of this mission, we get this, we get Mad Dog's Cribs as a safe house. Anyway, look at this armor pickup. Alright then. Let's finish up the rest of them and let's move inside to start clearing out about house and house. Basically, you're trying to engage in close door combat here. I don't think these guys were expecting us to attack like this. Alright then. Time to f oh. Outside is clear, time to go inside and deal with the and deal with the Vargos. Alright then. Well oh. Mad Dog's cribs. Why do you have to jinx yourself like that? Well, good news is here, there's a couple of armor pickup nearby. Uh, yeah, that goes double for you. Alright, well, these guys are gonna be dealing with the. They're going to be clearing room. Well, yep. Our main goal here is to kill. Uh, our main goal today is to kill Big Papa, the drug dealer. But we can also engage in gloom for ourselves. Who are you to break into this place, eh? Uh, sorry dude, but your rent is dude. And we need new tenants here. Uh, or I mean, sometimes it's useful, but sometimes it can, you can shoot people you do not want to aim. Alright, then there's a couple guys in the kitchen here. Yeah, last time we were here, we didn't know how big this house is. It's quite big. And of course we have ourselves a health, and of course we have ourselves a health pickup nearby, and there's an armor pickup upstairs. Alright then. Alright then, one floor is... Uh, we're not here to walk the house, we're here to take it back. And that, my friend, that's, and that's Big Papa. Basically, you can't kill me outside the house, I haven't tried that here. Anyway, you gotta chase him outside the house by following him to the mansion here, into the car, and engage him in a nice little car chase to Los Santos. Still a very quick one. Alright then. And there's a couple of guys we have to deal with, a couple of Vargos we gotta deal with. Alright then. And that's, I believe that's the last couple of guys we have to deal with. After that, well, Big Papa is outside of the mansion, chase after him and kill him. After that, we now get the house back. Ah, the Phoenix. This car he's driving is extremely rare. The only t place you can find this car is in one of the races here. The Sanfio races you can do here. The street races here. Basically, if you want to get a very exclusive car, is basically you do one of the races, you take the car, you park in the garage, and you end the mission like that. After that, after that you fill the mission, you go in the garage, the car is there. Anyway, and after that, make sure. And watch out, folks, this whole area is very hilly, and there's a lot of hills nearby. You will flip over. Anyway. Uh, a few occasions he turns right, sometimes he turns left. Anyway. 
can be a speed up here. Makes me give, and of course, makes, and of course, and he's gonna. See. All right, all right, then. Give him a burst of your of your submachine gun, and of that he's gonna be dead. And his car is smoking. I still leave to a big papa, and there he is, missing complete. Mad Dog script is, and we now. And we now own the club, Miss Complete, his house is back, and at the end of the part, folks, see you guys in part, part, choice, everyone, bye.